Today on Sledhead 24-7, our team of test riders are ready to put the Skidoo Renegade Backcountry X through some no-holds-barred at 10,000 feet. Get ready to ride, rate, and review in the backcountry of Montana. You're looking at the world's largest Arctic Cat dealership. You heard me, the world's largest. Discover what it takes to be number one on the planet. Explore the latest in high-tech gear as GoPro continues to push the limits of technology. Ride along as we hang out with Polaris superstar Cody Cam. Number 53 shares his off-season prep, and we discover how Cody is ready to defend his title as Pro Open champ. Sledhead 24-7, North America's largest snowmobile TV show starts now. Let's see if we can get you guys stuck. Welcome to another episode of Sledhead 24-7, your show for everything snowmobile. I'm your host, Chelsea Scorch, and today we are at Country Cat. Also joining us for this week's episode is our tech expert, Jeff Fisher. Jeff, it already looks like you're shopping. Well, yeah, I'm getting some parts and accessories for our new sleds. And speaking of new sleds, why don't you guys come out to the mountains with us where we're going to do some new sled evaluations. The 2018 Skidoo Renegade Backcountry X850 is not only a blast to look at, but let me tell you, it's a fun to ride on trail and off trail. This to me was probably the perfect combination of, of the, the ditch banging guy who wants to, you know, maybe get a little bit more in the mountains. But to me, I think it lends itself actually really well in the mountains, uh, almost more so than most people expect. A little bit wider front end, but it has a lot of summit characteristics. What Skidoo changed uh, in the Renegade in their Backcountry X, well, it's an 850, of course, which is really cool. And they went to a little longer track from the 137. So what they're doing is giving us a sled that kind of has a lot of the characteristics of a Summit with an uncoupled rear suspension with no T-motion. They used a lot of the characteristics of the Summit as well as their regular uh, MXZ chassis and put, it, put the two together and made a really nice package. So for on-trail, it's very friendly on-trail. You wouldn't know it has that longer track. And yet when you get off-trail, that's where the longer track really helps out. Brand new sled for 2018, brand new suspension. Uh, definitely got some upgrades here. We've uh, split the front and rear. You know, it's more similar to the Summit style suspension. Uh, they're not coupled together. Uh, we got a slight tip rail on it. Comes with the you know, high horsepower 850. The rear suspension was probably the, the biggest change in this sled that I noticed. And you know, it's uncoupled, which lends itself to the mountains really well, but it's not T-motion like its bigger brothers, the Summits. For me, it was great to ride on the trail, doing you know, 50, 60 miles an hour out there, but it worked really well in the deep snow. Got you up on top of it. It allows you to really get out there and play with that little bit wider front end and left you with smiling for days. Bringing uh, one model is really going to be a lot of fun this year called the Backcountry X. Uh, it's a name that's familiar to speedy riders, but it's a completely new, completely reimagined snowmobile. You have a new chassis in the Rev Gen 4, you got a new motor in the 850 E-Tech, and we've got new suspension both front and rear on it. So it's a 146 inch length, but it's got a C-motion rear skid in it. It's got a new RAS3 front suspension on it, it's a hybrid RAS3 front suspension, so it's it's all new, front to back, and it's really meant to truly address a 50-50 market, so a guy can go anywhere with it, be anywhere. Here's Backcountry X. I really took to it. It was very easy for me to um, get comfortable on it right away. I tried some new things with uh, using the tow holds and being able to counter steer sitting down and it was a lot of fun to play around on. This sled puts a smile on my face and it never disappoints. 
To find out more about Skidoo's innovations, head on over to skidoo.com. Stay tuned, there's more to come right after this. For years, GoPro has been the gold standard for POV cameras. When Sledhead 24-7 returns, we'll zoom in on the latest news as GoPro continues to step up their game. For defending Snowcross champ Cody Cam, the nighttime is the right time, and we're going on a training ride. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, protect your weekend. By Polaris, terrain domination. Articat, share our passion. Skidoo Snowmobiles, what matters is what's next. And by Ram Trucks, proven to last. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7, your show about everything snowmobile. I'm your host, Chelsea Scorich. Let's go take a look at Jeff. What are you doing? I'm playing with the new GoPro Hero 6, Jeff. Check well, it out. Yeah, we use those all the time. And you know what? They came up with a ton of new features. So now, when you go out riding, it's going to be a lot of fun. We should check out what's new with GoPro. Capturing life's great moments has never been easier. And on a snowmobile, it's never been more fun. A GoPro helps transform what might be just another great ride into magical footage. A lot of times you go get some good footage during the day, you think you have some really great shots, then you go back, you upload it either on your phone using the GoPro app on the way home, or go home and throw it on your laptop, and you, know, you get some crazy things like uh, branches smacking your camera, or uh, just some, you know, some shots that you really didn't, you didn't see, you didn't realize were going to be there. Uh, and that's part of the adventure for me with using a GoPro is that you, you, you don't know exactly what you're going to get, so it's kind of a guessing game and you know, it gives you that uh, suspense and that excitement at the end of the day. The experts offer two tips. Slow it down and you look like a pro. And the closer to the action, the better. Hanging out in the shop today, just picked up our new GoPro Hero 6. You know a lot of you are familiar with GoPros and have used them in the past but the Hero 6 has a lot more features. Pretty excited for this this season. One super cool feature with these new GoPros, quick stories. It's on the GoPro app and it allows the footage to download and create a video for you. No editing needed. The GoPro app will do the work for you, which allows you to post it anywhere you want. Another innovation from GoPro, touch zoom. It allows you to zoom in on the back using the display screen which gets you closer to the action. So I like this feature because it allows me to zoom in and be able to zoom in on the object or other rider I'm shooting. I no longer need to bring a camera with me. I can shoot and use a GoPro. All hands free, put it in your pocket, or obviously, you strap it on your helmet for those awesome adventures. Another great feature is image stabilization. It analyzes your footage and makes it buttery smooth. I think the coolest thing about being able to post GoPro videos is that it really you know, opens the light to you know, riding and terrain that, quite frankly, not very many people get to see. So being able to upload that footage is just something that really opens up people's eyes to our terrain and, and the excitement that we have out here and the, the ability and, the, and the, you know, the characteristics of riding out west. And it really just opens people's eyes. My favorite things to do with this camera is, you know, I don't even wait to go all the way home. I'm uploading footage from my phone and looking at it on the way home with the GoPro app. You know, it's pretty awesome to see what you can do with the GoPros nowadays. Yeah, they keep changing and changing and evolving. It'll be exciting to see what comes next with GoPro. Make sure you guys stay tuned. There's more Sledhead 24-7 right after this. What does it take to be the world's largest? When Sledhead 24-7 returns, explore the keys to success at Country Cat, the world's largest Arctic cat dealer. But first, here's today's AMS Oil Tech Tip. 
cold temperature performance of two-stroke snowmobile oil is critical. The oil needs to move in extreme cold temperatures. In fact, it's such an issue that we went to the lab at Amsoil and we put some of the popular manufacturer's products next to ours and we actually poured them at extreme cold temperatures. This is what's going on inside your engine. If the oil doesn't move, the engine can seize up. For more information on any of our two-stroke products, check out amsoil.com. This week we're here at Country Camp, the world's largest Articat dealer in Sauk Center, Minnesota. If you're within 100 miles of this place, you need to stop in and check it out. It is full of history and full of sleds, isn't it, PJ? Yeah, we've got all the current products here for snowmobiles, ATVs, side-by-side. -side. A lot of great things to see, including some old snowmobiles. So if you're in the area, like Chelsea said, you got to check it out. Let's learn a little bit more about Country Cat. Welcome to the world of Country Cat. Take a tour of the world's largest Arctic Cat dealer. It all comes together in the small town of Sauk Center, Minnesota. The business has grown, a lot of employees, a lot of business goes out through this place. Um, but the one thing that still remains is, uh, number one is customer service. Many cat fans make a day trip of it. And why not? The latest cat models are all here along with what has become a shrine and a museum. Yeah, it's very exciting times to be an Articat Textron off-road dealer with the Textron acquisition of Articat. Um, you know, the buying power that they have, the research, and just the, the plain power that they have as, uh, as a, a Fortune 500 company. It's pretty exciting times in the power sports industry to be involved with that and to have that type of backing behind you. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of changes in the future and uh, it's going to be exciting times for the consumer and dealers as well. Country cat owner PJ Wanderscheid has been a cat man his entire life, starting off as a kid and all the way to ice racing. I had uh, some success in my days. I uh, won four world championships, a TLR Cup championship, uh, three, uh, three 525 championships, two Canadian championships. So um, we had a lot of fun and uh, um, definitely uh, a, lot of, a lot of memories come with that. And uh, it's just all about being involved in, in the industry and. Uh, something I still enjoy to follow in the, in the racing end of it too. PJ always feels the need for speed. That's just one reason he's sponsoring the upcoming Amsoil Championship Snowcross race December 8th and 9th in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Even being a Midwest dealer, we carry a ton of mountain stuff on hand. That includes uh, mountain cats, M8000s, um, a ton of mountain gear as well. So climb, FXR, uh, motor fist, we've got avalanche bags, we've got shovels. All that to cater to that mountain rider, that's a huge part of our business. But what may be the secret to their success? Online sales. The mail order business has been booming. If you can't make it out to Sock Center, Minnesota, Country Cat will come to you. We have a huge online store at countrycat.com. We carry a variety of products, um, all the greatest clothing brands, all of um, you know, the accessories you need for your machines. We have people that you can call and ask questions. Um, if you have a problem with a part or a question about fitment, we have those people here on hand to answer your questions. One thing we strive for here at Country Cat is having items in stock. So as we know in the snowmobile industry, you know, your time can, to ride can be limited. So when our website shows that it's in stock, it is physically in stock. It's updated several times a day for live inventory. So that's one nice thing about our website. If you go on there and it is in stock, you will get it and it will be shipped out quick. Country Cat is certainly the destination for any snowmobiler. Make sure you guys stay tuned. There's more Sledhead 24 seven to come right after this. Still ahead, check in with defending Pro Open champ Cody Camp, and his physical checks him out. Is Cody ready to race this season? Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, protect your weekend. By FXR, world-class outerwear. By Stud Boy, traction with an attitude. Ziggler Cat, exceptional service backing the best equipment and by U.S. Air Force. Aim high. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7, your show for everything snowmobile. I'm your host, Chelsea Scorch. Now, Jeff, please, 
don't break those. <laughs> Speaking of trying to break things, we had this summer we had a chance to catch up with Cody Camp. He was our last year Pro Open Points champion. One guy that never slows down, that's Cody Camp. Let's go check it out. Hey, I'm Cody Cam, and you're watching Sledhead 24-7. Racing in Wisconsin! Both of the the hill they go! Both the Hanches sleds out front, and look who my took oh my hold shot! The stud boy hold shot goes to Cody Cam in a big way! Into the FXR, final turn for the final time! The checkers and the championship go to Cody Cam in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin! A giant win in front of his hometown! And he wins. Play now in the championship and just, uh... Um, I took the win last year, so obviously the goal is to come into the season strong and try to maintain that all year long and just uh, be on top of my game from the beginning. Yeah, there's probably a, a small target on my back, but I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I love competition and being competitive with everyone all the time. I love Polaris because I've been on them for a long time now and every year I just sit down on it and it, it's comfortable and fits my body and my riding style. They work great for smashing off the tops of jumps and just being riding completely on the edge and sometimes you go over the edge but that happens with everybody but the Polaris works great for holding me onto it and a lot of the times I'm just hanging on to the sled and I'm along for the ride, but I mean, it works out. <laughs> uh, now that the team is fully focused on the stock Polaris, it's going to be even better and they're always behind me to make me happy and win races. On the number 53 Polaris, Cody Cam! Got the, the van loaded up with the mountain bike and we're heading out to the trail to do some cardio and just enjoy the, the fall leaves out in the woods and have fun training. Um, it's a huge suffer the whole entire time, the whole ride. Usually hour to two hours long, it's, you're suffering the whole time. And I just love, love that feeling and I know it's a good workout and moving me forward every single time. And, just uh, being out in the woods is a lot of fun for me on the mountain bike. This cold weather and fall leaves are really pretty and it's uh, real enjoyable to be out in the woods pedaling on my mountain bike getting in some good cardio. We'll go cruise around the farm and check out the <coughs> mud tracks. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys my mud truck that we call Big Bird. Um, it's a 1956 Ford F100 and on two and a half ton axles with 54 inch tires and it's got a 900 horse big block Ford in it and it's super lightweight so I mean I go through some really deep mud like over the tires but it's so light and with the amount of horsepower it like skims across the mud sometimes and just uh, super dirty from, I had it out three days ago and just beating the heck out of it and it's uh, just waiting to get some time to so I can wash it and get it ready for winter and so it can sit all winter while I'm racing snowmobiles. And we are racing at Shakopee, 15 slams into the turn. Down the stretch they go and Peter Narsa with the stud boy hole shot. When you don't notice anything or even when I, I dislocated my shoulder and just completely tore it up I I got right back onto the sled and finished off two laps because it was the very end of the race and went back to the trailer and ended up going straight to the emergency room. We just pulled into a Wisconsin Specialty Surgery Center and I'm uh, gonna go inside and make sure my leg is good to go for a season and see what doctor has to say and Hopefully we have a bunch of good news and I'm feeling good right now so I'm pretty confident in it and just uh, be ready for season. So when's your first race? Um, Duluth is uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Cool. You're, uh, you're doing great. You should be all set for it. No problem. Cool. 
My most memorable race to date, I think, has got to be at Lake Geneva in 2012 when I, I took home the Pro Light Championship and uh, just uh, I had a huge points lead so we were planning on racing in the Pro Open class the next day and I was on the far outside of the starting line and I remember when the light turned green I was to the top of the hill first and I led every lap of that race and just something that has happened twice in snowcross history, me and Ross Martin now. I never give up and it's just, I don't think I ever could give up. Well, Jeff, you can't help but laugh when you're around Cody Cam. No, and, and Cody Cam, the first time I came across him was years ago before he raced snowmobiles. We're at a race in Red Bun, and the amateur day, there was one guy who was doing LaRocco's Leap, which is this huge triple. And I'm wondering, who was that guy? Cody Cam. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have this week for this episode of Sledhead 24-7. We want to give a big thank you to Country Cat for having us out this week. Make sure that you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Who knows, you might ride with us this season. I'm your host, Chelsea Scorch, and from all of us here at Sledhead 24-7, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the snow. A little bit of spinning action on them long road trips makes them go by a little quicker, and you're less bored.